Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you several popular celebrity photos such as Charlie Heaton, BNC, Cardi B, Ronaldo, and many more, proving that the one-eyed occult elite is always there for you. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these images every day. But that's the whole point. These pics are proof that a small occult elite is controlling thousands of industry of slaves across the world, while owning the media disseminating this symbolism. And lately, the one eye sign is more omnipresent than ever. The phenomenon that I've been observing for years is only amplifying to the point that it is now completely unavoidable. The elite is clearly showcasing its tentacular control of all aspects of society, yet most people stay blind to it all. So, without further ado, fasten your pants, and let's get started. The stars of the series Stranger Things have been appearing in Stranger Things. This is Charlie Heaton in a flaunt magazine photoshoot, where he's kneeling down and giving up a crucifix to a red-hooded figure. How can this not represent initiation to the satanic industry? Another pic conveniently hides one eye, the sign of submission to the occult elite. Bain C's Coachella performance was a highly symbolic one. As usual, media praised her as some kind of living goddess, while superficially brushing on the symbolic meaning of her performance. For over a decade, C has been used by the occult elite to push its agenda, and is not stopping now. The elite is looking to create a phony superficial Hollywood-powered black power movement to create racial division, and Bayance is being used as some kind of charismatic leader. In this pic, she wears a headdress inspired by Nefertiti, an ancient Egyptian queen. The girls behind her wear sunglasses and black berets, the trademark style of the Black Panthers in the 1970s. However, these 2018 Black Panthers are not revolutionary, they're puppets dancing at a Hollywood music festival. The entire Black revolutionary imagery has been co-opted by the occult elite. Some might say, bro, you're wrong bro, Bay is fighting for the people. Check out the next pic, bro. Some of Bayance's outfits at Coachella, created by French luxury brand Balmain, featured this custom-made crest. The Nefertiti and Black Panther symbols refer to Bayance's royal status in the industry and how she is used in the current racial division agenda. However, above this crest are symbols confirming who truly owns the Queen Bee. The symbol of the Eye of Horus inside a triangle is not Egyptian. It is a creation of Western occultism. The specific symbol of the Eye of Horus inside a triangle is associated with the prominent occultist Aleister Crowley, founder of the secret society OTO, which is still powerful in Hollywood. The covers of most of his books feature this symbol. They also often feature the symbol of the winged sun, see the book cover on the right, which represents ascent to divinity. For this reason, it is often found at the entrance of occult temples. In short, the crest refers to her being elevated to the level of queen or deity, but who remains under the wing of the occult elite. The previous month, Jay-Z and C launched the On The Run 2 tour. The promo pic features Jay-Z hiding one of Bayance's eyes. So clever. I wonder what kept them together after allegations of infidelity. Hmm. This is another promo pic. Jay and Bay riding with a huge horn skull up front. Yup, Baphomet is their guide. Apparently, this pic is inspired by a classic African movie. However, there's a reason why this specific scene was selected. This is a picture from 2009 promoting Bayance's Sasha Fierce album. She's wearing a bustier with a painted Baphomet head. There's also an extra Baphomet hood ornament. The bustier is made to look like a motorcycle with handlebars and rearview mirrors. She's been riding with Baphomet for all of these years. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. By the way, this is Rihanna Coachella with one eye hidden. 
speaking of the one eye sign, it was everywhere, as usual. This is footballer Michi Batshuayi, on the cover of French magazine Anzi. And, of course, he's hiding one eye. The sign has to be everywhere. This is a gigantic iPhone ad in downtown Dallas. There's an obvious effort to expose the masses to the one eye sign. Whether they like it or not. And nobody likes it. This is Cardi B on the cover of the New York Times magazine music issue. The title says 25 songs that tell us where music is going. The hidden eye tells us that music is going wherever the elite decides it goes. But wait, maybe this is a coincidence. Maybe they just took the picture while a feather was hiding one eye by accident. It happens. Being cruel hiding one eye with a flower confirms that there was no accident, just the New York Times telling us who owns them. The article also featured Gucci Mane with, you've guessed it, a crown of blue flower things. Oh yeah, and one eye is hidden. The article also features SZA with one eye hidden. In short, this entire article is a sad display of the occult elite owning the music industry and its future. A few years ago, Ryan Murphy signed a $300 million deal with Netflix, which is the biggest producer contract in TV history. To celebrate that, he posed for Hollywood Reporter, with one eye hidden, of course. This is another pic from the article that emphasizes one eye. You can't get massive TV contracts if you don't fully adhere to the elite's agenda, and Murphy has been creating disturbing stuff that is fully in line with the agenda for years. Murphy is the creator of several TV shows such as American Horror Story. This is a promo pic of the season featuring Lady Gaga. The entire series is a tribute to the elite's love of everything debased and dehumanizing. This is the promo pic of the second season of the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. The eye hidden tells you that it is all about the elite's agenda. Directed by industry pawn Selena Gomez, the show's graphic depiction of suicide caused a sharp rise of internet searches about how to commit suicide and was deemed problematic by mental health experts. The second season will reportedly tackle the theme of toxic masculinity. In other words, it will continue to poison the minds of young people while debasing garbage. Ronaldo is the face of Nike's Born Mercurial campaign. His contract apparently requires his Instagram profile pic to be this one eye thing, a clever way of showing exposing his millions of fans the occult elite's symbolism. Considering that young people worldwide idolize Ronaldo, it did not take long before how to guides popped up to replicate this one eye look with one's own picture. Zayn Malik with one eye hidden by smoke. So clever. So groundbreaking. Modcloth is a retailer of Indian-inspired clothing. In 2017, it was bought by Walmart. Nothing says Indy better than Walmart. This is the April 2018 catalog cover. Christina Aguilera is back with a new album. Are you excited? Well, you shouldn't because she's doing the one eye thing again. She has to. You might tell yourself, wow, that's a lot of one eye signs. I think I'll go the mall to relax and take my mind off things. Sorry, but the mall is not exempt. A viewer sent in this pic from a shopping mall in front of a children's play store. Another viewer spotted this at French shopping mall. It has to be everywhere. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.